Welcome back. Uh, today, the good, the bad and the ugly. Why did I choose this Exodus 11? Well, like a lot of us, bought off the internet. Um, so, get what you pay for, kind of. Uh, it's all a bit potluck. Did see some pictures beforehand, which is obviously why I chose it. It looked mostly complete if neglected for a very long time. Um, you can see the front tyre split, no air box, no side panels, pretty horrible looking seat and tank, but I'd be changing those anyway. But it had kind of a nice cool old muscle bike look, stock frames, stock suspension, wheels, brakes and all that sort of stuff, so you can still get parts. What I did like was the headlight front indicators and the brackets. I'll reuse all those. The brackets are um, pretty rough. Probably end up just wire wheeling them and, and spraying black because you know, it's not worth trying to save any chrome off them. A uh, little mini speedo, that's cool. Keep that. Um, carburetors were on it, which is good. And uh, had mud guards. Front mug guard, well, you could see in the pictures, it was slightly split. Uh, turns out, very split, very rough and completely unusable. I was hoping maybe to salvage the brackets, but uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I do have a spare um, Harley one, which um, just needs some brackets making up, so I'm gonna use that instead. The back end like the mud guard, like the tail light, not bothered about the rear indicators, but I've got another set of bullet indicators lying on a shelf, so we'll stick them on instead. That'd be cool. Uh, rear shocks, probably end up putting them on eBay, get some hay guns on it. Uh, I might swap out the front springs as well to see what they look like. Rear mud guard, uh, on close inspection, it is the mud guard of many holes unfortunately so we're gonna to have to see about what to do about that and the rear mount tail light mounts pretty rotten and um, we might just go for a simpler new make fab one up once the mud guards bolted onto the bike properly uh I say we not me i'm not fabbing it hopefully mike will a rear grab well love the design unfortunately it's just a bit of thin walled steel tubing that somebody's hammered flat <laughs> it looks like i made it uh what i hope is we'll get one that matches the seat a lot better and um maybe made out of a stainless round bar got a couple of old seats that were on ebay from years nobody wanted them uh, i put them on this bike and i thought oh, i don't look bad need a bit of modding and recovering but i think they'll work so that's a nice freebie um the tank i'm not bothered about the original tank great looks like it belongs on the back of a camel to me but there you go swapped a few harley parts for a set of fat bob tanks so we'll use those i'll need a completely new set of brackets fabbing up um but I think it'll fit. Well, we'll see what Mike says. Also, I've had a look inside the, the excess tank and it's a bit grim in there. I don't think I'd want to use it even if I was keeping it. Other stuff I like. Uh, exhaust. Very nice. Uh, it might need a bit of assistance to, um, how much should we say, uh, make it a bit more fruity. That'll do. Because, you know, it just needs to be. Uh, handlebars, I'm not sure about yet. I kind of like them, but they're, they're a bit low and a bit wide, possibly. But it's hard to tell without the seat and the tanks put on properly. Um, so we'll see about that. I uh, might keep them, might not. Might swap them out. Uh, I'll be swapping out, obviously, because of the one handed ride in. All the controls will be swapped out. So mirrors, clutch, uh, left hand switch gear, right hand switch gear, throttle assembly, right hand grip, 
and probably the master cylinder. It all looks like original stuff, so I'll probably put it all up on eBay because um, it's all worth something. The bike has been stood for quite some time, so clutch cable has seized, all the rubbers perished, so rear tire rotten, front tire as you can tell was split and rotten, but temporarily put another tire on just so you can push it about. And that manifold rubber's gone, uh, rear shaft drive boot gone, um, so it's been I think in storage for a very long time. The amount of spiders, dead spiders and cobwebs on it is unbelievable. But <laughs> worst I've ever seen on any bike um, that I've owned. Uh, but like I said, I think somebody loved it at one point. There's other stuff missing like the um, rear swing arm end covers have gone, the starter motor cover is gone. Uh, but I've already picked them up cheap on eBay. The owner that I bought it from said it had been running recently with another set of carbs on. Maybe. Doesn't seem that likely having pulled a couple of plugs out and having that look at the exhaust. But I could be wrong. Um, what I did do though, take the plugs out, took the kickstart off my XS850, put it on. Engine's kicking over all right, uh, so it's not locked, which is good. Wiring, <laughs> but I'm quite happy rewiring a bike. As long as we've got all the components there, and they do seem to be all uh, the regulator rectifier, ignition unit, uh, ballast resistor, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm not sure what to do about the coils yet, whether um, I'll reuse the old ones or not. On further investigation, carbs... <sighs> I've seen worse, but they will need a complete strip down and clean in the ultrasonic cleaner. And looks like lots of bolts and screws will probably need replacing. You kind of know what sort of owner you've had at some point in the past with this, because when you find a Nissan key in the petrol tank, you go, uh, yeah, right. Okay, could have been done by accident, but then when you pull out the rear engine mount and it's uh, just a piece of rusty old studding, which is two mil diameter too small, it's like, ah, uh, it's been uh, bodged at some point. So luckily you can get a replacement off eBay second hand, uh, so that's what I've done. Also I've worked out the, the rear uh, engine spacers where they butt up onto the foot peg mounts were too big because <laughs> uh, after much fidgeting managed to find some uh, in a box where you keep all your old spare spacers and luckily they were just right and now that's done up nice and good and tight as it should be and turns out all the front engine mounts were a bit loose as well so tightened all them up so at least the engine's not going to drop out now um, but it just goes to show with these old bikes you really do have to check them over completely. Uh, I've yet to investigate head bearings but I did notice that some somebody has put the bottom yoke in, put the bearing in, put a nut on, then put the shield on and then put another nut on and uh, as only one knows you should have the two nuts together and the shield underneath. So who knows what's in there, but I suspect the weather's got in and um, knackered them. Um, I haven't had a chance to check the swing on bearing yet, uh, bearings yet. I'll do the front end first and then plow into that. Uh, but hopefully they'll be all right. You never know, do you? Turns out while I was pulling the rear mug guard bits and pieces apart, um, it was so rusted, one of the nuts had seized on the rear light and shit the bolt off. Uh, the wiring was terrible, all rotten and everything, so quickly um, heated up the tail light with everything removed, banged the old bolt out, put a new one in, cleaned it all up, rewired it, and we've got nice new working tail light again. 
but it just goes to show this these old bikes they are kind of designed to for mechanical repair work i mean you know it's not particularly difficult um it's only and you know 45 year old bike it's going to have history it's going to have issues um i don't particularly want to i'm not making it a pristine thing it's just going to be for some fun uh for rotting around on and um being pretending you're, you're 18 in 1980 again or something like that uh it does have an awfully large number of these wretched um horrible panned screws all over it uh through holding the coils on uh they were used to hold the rear grab rail on i ended up having to grind them off and um they're right pain uh, again i think it's cheapness a bit like the uh, rear engine mount studding it's just but you know that's what it is but overall i'm quite happy with it it's uh, exactly what i thought it would be bear in mind i paid 600 quid um so it wasn't a fortune most of it's there all the important stuff's there i'm going to get some side panels made up hopefully in stainless maybe alley we'll see uh might as well do a new battery box and just bolt all the electrics onto that battery box so what will be the next one in the series of this well uh, a couple of weeks ago i filmed myself doing the foot peg mounts so i haven't cleaned the brackets up fitting pegs on trying them out this is when I found out the spacers were the wrong size and the rear engine mount studding was all wrong. So you'll see me working on that a bit, putting it all together and um, hopefully making it pretty and safe. So tune in next time.